Hello everyone, it's Kai. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new speed build video. Today we are going to be building a generations family home in the world of Willow Creek which is the world that came with the base game. And today's theme of course is winter as you can see from the video itself. There is a lot of snow in the background and I really enjoyed building this house because this is my second generations home that I am doing. The first one I did is called um, I think Bright Generations Home which I did last year or a few months ago I'm not so sure but I thought that the idea would be fun for me to do a winter themed generations build since it is rare of me to do so so I decided to just proceed with a winter themed generations home for today's build and I really hope you guys will like this one because I definitely enjoyed furnishing and building this house and I got um, inspiration from Pinterest in terms of shaping the house together and also the theme is just fun for me I guess <laughs> um, but as you can see the structure of the house is pretty basic the front looks kind of Victorian or semi Victorian with that protruding wall that is on the left side of the build and it is mixed with suburban or traditional suburban I think is what you call it um, it's a mixture of those two and I'm really happy with the outcome and by the way, the number of sims that you can fit in for this build is actually a lot of sims, which is 8 sims and I did the same thing for the other generations home that I built for 8 sims. So it's a really bonus um, thing for this build because it looks quite small on the outside but it definitely is a big house on the inside and I am also surprised myself because I could fit like three rooms upstairs and one room downstairs and yeah it's a, a weird achievement for this house I would say because of the structure the structure looks pretty small uh, but the inside is pretty big <laughs> but anyways um, I pictured that the family consists of a couple of grandparents parents and also a baby and a toddler and child which which share the same bedroom and also their elder brother or sister who is into um emo music <laughs> or gothic culture um and so you will see that i will be just playing around with themes throughout this house to suit personalities of the sims that i imagine living here i am planning to basically also make a family in a cc hall um video maybe soon for this house because i didn't actually um create a family for this home i just use a random sim from the create a sim and just use that sim so that i can build in winter mode but i am planning to um do a cc video for create a sim so i'm really looking forward to that hopefully i will be able to do so because you know, when I try to find CC stuff, it always ends up being like patchy or some items missing from the view of uh, how you see the clothes. So I will take my time and hopefully be able to um, do a good video on that. And I'm really looking forward because I'm planning to get some inspiration from one of my friends who is actually a really great CC finder, creator, creator simmer. She is Lizzie Sims and I'm not so sure if you guys know her but she's amazing. She's totally stylish. I really love how um, she comes up with these ideas for clothing that come from uh, CC stuff. So I'm really looking forward to get some inspiration from her. And also I will definitely be crediting her in that uh, particular video once I get it up <laughs> but anyways you can see that over here I'm working on the backyard initially I wanted to place the fences that I found from the debug menu of the snowy escape pack I think um, to the front of the house to create a fence like sort of structure but then I figured that the fences were quite too big for if I were to put it in the front so I ended up putting it at the back of the house so that your sims can actually have a private garden going on. And then I basically also uh, replaced the idea of putting those fences at the front with these picket fence that came with the backyard stuff pack, I believe. 
it is really pretty and it looks like the um american dream home i picture that because in a lot of movies i see uh i'm not from america by the way but in a lot of movies i see that uh, are based in america they have these houses that are picket fence that consists of picket fence for the fencing and also i want to mention that at this time when i was uh, trying to fit in the tiles i actually had to get out of this mode which is the winter mode and build in the normal summer mode because you cannot really see the ground when you do it in winter mode so i had to uh, exit the game for a while and do some landscaping um, and also figure out the tiling for the front and back parts of the house which are uh, located on the outside part so i just had to um, get out of this mode and go into the normal build mode <laughs> from manage worlds where i can basically uh, figure it out and then once i did that i resumed back into the winter part of the mode <laughs> so that's why you saw that there was a weird transition i'm not so sure if you guys saw it but you can see it if you scroll back but anyways i decided to also you know i couldn't really decide on what color of the picket fence that i wanted to use if i were to use the white color picket fence it would look too white because there is no um, but then if i were to use a darker wood tone for the picket fence it looked a bit awkward for me so i just decided to use the normal beige or cream colored picket fence and i think the color of the picket fence suited the build also because i used this uh, brick pattern from the base game and paired it with the green mint clapboard crush or clapboard crush is that what it's called it's from the base game but it's those paneled uh, wallpaper and I thought that the color combination at first was a bit weird but then it really looks nice uh, in the end so I decided to stick to those two type of colors blending in green colors with wood tones and natural muted uh, tones and I'm really happy about it because it's not a combination uh, for the color that I usually go with I usually go with like basic neutrals and just the normal stuff <laughs> but i really like the color it really looks nice uh even though it kind of looks weird in the beginning but um also i also uh, exited the recording software that i was using and tried a bunch of different color combinations possible that fitted this house and you know i tried everything and a lot of them didn't suit for the type of aesthetic that i was going for especially because it's in the winter season so i thought that this color combination which is the sort of mustard and green color really suited each other very well so i decided to go with that but for the back part of the house where the backyard is it is pretty simple with a monkey bar and also a umbrella table with some fences around it and just some landscaping and i didn't really add a lot of detail into the backyard because I was lazy. <laughs> I was sorry for that. But you, you guys can definitely um, add your own details if you want to. And I also imagine that this house, since it's green, I should put in a lot of like hanging plants from the ceilings of the porches and paired it with some wind chimes from the backyard stuff pack. And I really like the aesthetic because it looks cozy and just chill. Um, but we are moving on to the interior part of the house right now. And we are beginning to furnish the living room. The living room i think i will be adjusting some stuff i will be removing that uh chair from the cats and dogs pack and replace it with a christmas tree since it's this festive season uh winter christmas and i really like the turnout of that also even though i really like both actually i really like the uh couch that is from the cats and dogs pack when i put it there and also when i replace it with the christmas tree both are equally pleasing to my eyes but then i decided to just go ahead and go forth with the christmas tree because you know it's christmas <laughs> um and the layout of the house was really really easy for me to work with so there isn't a lot of like problem with spaces i I sort of playtested this house with the sim that um, I had to give this a lot to and you know the sim could work uh, 
I mean, could roam around freely on the ground floor, but I didn't test the top floor and some things on the top floor might not work. So you will have to adjust a few things here and there, maybe move some furniture around and you're good to go. Um, but for the wall decorations throughout this house, uh, I don't think there are a lot of wall decorations. It's just a bunch of pictures and framed pictures and... Yeah, that's basically it for the wall decorations, um, but I tried to make it not so festive as I did for the winter craftsman I did last week or uh, yesterday or two days before when you see this video, but I decided to not go too festive with that because I pictured that, you know, this house has been um, here for a quite a long time with the generation of sims living in it so i didn't really want to make it as festive like to make it look more seasonal because the main focus of this house is also actually generations and generations consist of elderly sims uh adult sims adolescent sims uh teenagers toddlers and babies and I wish that The Sims team also had a lot, well not The Sims team, maybe just The Sims game had a lot more stuff related to infants because right now currently The Sims only has a lot of stuff for kids and toddlers and I think it's quite unfair because babies are, you know, if you want to create nurseries it's hard because there um, isn't any like diaper changing station in this game. I wish they had it though, but uh, for the diaper changing station for this house, there is one, but I will be creating it manually from uh, by using the one of the wardrobes from the base game or the eco lifestyle, I think, and paired with some uh paired it with some dividers so that it looks like a proper crib. <laughs> um, but I really wish that this game had something related to infants, babies that are born one day or another after. <laughs> uh, but as you can see throughout the whole build also, it is pretty green in color and the best part of this house uh, for the common spaces I would say would be the kitchen because it's really green and I really like the colors that I use, the color combination is great. Um, it really looks comfortable for my opinion, but over here is going to be the dining room and the dining room is pretty small. I I wish I would have made it bigger, but I didn't do so <laughs> because, um, you know, I didn't really want to change the shape of the house throughout when I was furnishing it. So it is, it would, it would be kind of like messy and also like, it's just not... Um, convenient if I were to change the shape of the house when I was furnishing it but um, the decorations in the in the dining room are pretty simple I just added in a chandelier that looks like a commercial that is meant for a commercial lot and a bookshelf and also a plant in the corner just to fill up some space um, but we are moving on to the grandparents uh, bedroom over here which really looks elderly and um like old people style uh, for this bedroom the bed i use is from cottage living which is really nice i really like it um and i think it really suits elderly sims and i also put in a rocking chair because it's related to the elder generation and also a knitting box with a lot of yarn in it and also a um that uh, country stuff I think it's from that one the dresser um, I did also imagine that the grandparents living here the grandmother especially loves to knit so you saw that I put an octopus knitting thing on the dresser just now but over here is going to be the common bathroom for the ground uh, level where I will just be putting some sinks and also a shower and the washing machine and dryer over here and uh, um, it, I think this bathroom is bigger than the bathroom upstairs because for the bathroom upstairs it is shared by um, sims living or having all of the rooms so it's a pretty tight um, configuration upstairs but it's durable I guess or doable <laughs> I'm sorry durable means something else uh, but anyways 
we are moving on to the master bedroom over here and initially I wanted to do this kind of paneling behind the bed for the master bedroom but I didn't end up doing so because I thought it looked too modern and also the DHD items that are stackable on top of each other doesn't really suit the theme and the coziness so I didn't do that and then I just put in a sofa for a quote-unquote reading corner and a bookshelf to pair with the sofa and also a carpet from the cottage living pack and it's pretty simple actually the master bedroom I wish I could have done more with it by adding more space and detail but I didn't end up doing so because I don't really know how a master bedroom should look like in a normal suburban home <laughs> um, but I did try to add in a lot of details and clutter for all around the house so that it looked more lived in and also more livelier but over here is going to be the nursery of the baby of the family um, and I pictured that she is a girl and um, I don't think babies have personalities in the game because you cannot really configure it until they are like toddlers or something. Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I did try to add in or manually create this uh, crib over here. As you can see, I used the dividers from the Island Living Pack and paired it with the Eco Lifestyle. And I also used an ottoman to raise up or down to make it look like it has some bedding. And I learned this trick from Simlisi, which who is a really, really good YouTuber. She is one of my favorite builders in the Sims community and she showed this crib thing in one of her builds and I decided like it would be useful um, to put in for a home that consists of babies, but it is not functional, unfortunately. So it's just there for pure decoration. Uh, but you have the baby crib uh, the smaller basic one over on the corner over there so you don't have to worry about this room not having enough features because I did put in that crib just to make sure that the baby has something that she could lie in <laughs> but over here is going to be a room that is shared between a toddler who is a girl and also her bigger sister who is a preteen sort of that kind of range and I will be changing this bed combination to a bunk bed from the DHD pack and I really like how it turned out because I figured that the sims that own this room, which is the older sister and also the younger toddler, they are quite close to one another, so they share everything. Um, and um, I, in case I forgot to mention, the number of family, or I mean the, fam the number of sims that you can fit in this house is actually eight sims. And the family that I pictured consists of, for the kids, consists of a an older brother or sister who is into like gothic and emo music and a preteen and also a toddler and also the baby so that so just now you saw that I decorated the uh, nursery and they are a pretty loving family I would say because they are they are consisting of a lot of siblings um one two three four siblings is quite big I think for the uh, family members and I myself, uh, I have two sisters, so it's not really that big. It's just that there's one left out and it's usually me because I'm the middle child. But I think four is a good number for um, a family, even though, you know, it's quite a big family if you count the parents in and also the grandparents. Um, but I do have some friends who have like eight or nine siblings and I cannot picture the chaos that they would have to go through when they grow up <laughs> but anyways moving on to the bedroom of the gothic slash emo kid over here I really like this room and I really like how this room turned out compared to the others because I think I can relate to it because I quite like emo music like My Chemical Romance and um, others that are related to that basically rock and pop punk or punk music is quite my thing but I don't really listen to it now because I am a very busy person <laughs> when I grew up and so the music tastes I find are just quite different and now I usually just listen to the same album every day over and over again Olivia Rodrigo by the way <laughs> but for the room of the emo child I decided to 
decorate this particular wall with a lot of posters and you know i see a lot of like people have the rooms that are something like this they cover up the walls with a lot of posters and that's what i had in mind and uh, fortunately the poster size fit the wall length so i had to use two of the same posters with different swatches for each uh, single wall so that worked and i was really surprised and i'm really happy with the turnout or the outcome and i also imagine that uh this this emo kid is um, going into college. Oh, and also I found that divider from the Discovery University pack, which I never used before. And I think it is quite a useful tool because it's, you know, the swatches that come with it are related to like youngsters. <laughs> but over here is going to be the uh, common bathroom that is shared between all of the family members. And I put in a shower. Uh, the standing one and also a shower with a bathtub combo and a toddler toilet because it's pretty cute and also because this household has uh, toddlers and babies so yeah I think that is pretty much the end of the video and if you want to download this house it's already up in the gallery my ID is Sumerkai and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and I hope to talk to you guys in my next video bye